Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today I am hiking Machine Falls, Busby Falls, and Adams Falls, just outside of Tullahoma, Tennessee. And today I am hiking with Jacob. <laughs> For this video, Jacob and I hiked a four mile loop in the Short Springs State Natural Area just north of Tullahoma, Tennessee. The highlight of this trip is the machine falls, though the entire loop is very nice. We started at the trailhead on the Short Springs Road under a large water tower and started out going clockwise around the loop heading for the Collier Horn Bridge and Busby Falls. Unfortunately, the bridge over the Bobo Creek was damaged by recent flooding and so we skipped over that and headed for Machine Falls. Machine Falls is an amazing waterfall with a wide cascade tumbling over many fine layers of rock, all situated up a lovely canyon on Machine Falls Branch. Definitely worth the trip, even if you see nothing else. Next, we headed over to Adams Falls, which, this time of year, consists only of a small side falls that comes out of the rock cliffs, but it is clear that at times there's a huge waterfall here with a significant drop. Despite there not being much to see at Adams Falls, it was a nice way to complete our loop hike. We then returned through the forest back to the trailhead on this lovely, cool, late summer morning. I highly recommend this hike. It's a beautiful way to go and see a beautiful waterfall. Or two or three. All right, we are at the parking area for the trailhead. We're gonna cross the highway here. The trail is right on the other side. All right, we are taking the Machine Falls Loop. Headed off this way. Ah, that's quite the mushroom. <laughs> Hey, we've barely gotten started and I already hear water running. So uh, we're going to be hitting a series of waterfalls today. So this is going to be, this will be pretty cool, I think. Yeah, based on the rain you've got, I'm guessing it'll be a good little bit. Yeah, me too. Somebody must have hiked this already this morning and cleared all the spider webs for us because I haven't hit run into a single one yet. So that's nice. So obviously the trail used to go across the creek here and up on the other side, <laughs> but not anymore. It says to keep going this way. The Laurel Bluff Loop goes nowhere. Oh yeah, look at all the fresh trees down. I'm guessing there was some flooding here, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Huh, a lot of bridge damage. Obviously some people ford the creek down there um, at the bottom of this uh, Laurel Bluff loop sign, but we're going to try following the trail over here and seeing where this goes. Well, there's a nice falls. I bet that's Busby Falls. Very nice. The mushrooms are thick today. Yeah, 
Yeah. That, that is a high trail. Whew. That's a ways down. Hang on to your shorts. Wow. Getting to be a pretty good canyon there. What? Getting to be a pretty good canyon there. Yeah. We've come to a nice bench to rest on. Sign says we just came from the Busby Falls Trail. Didn't really get a good view of the Busby Falls. Unfortunately, the bridge was out. And the Laurel Bluff Loop, we uh, looked over the Laurel Bluff there. But now, we're back to the Machine Falls Trail. And uh, we're going to be heading off that way. This park has all the trail signs. That's good. So anyway, Machine Falls Loop, continuing on this way. We're heading downhill here to the uh, creek. We see a little side trail. I'm guessing it goes over to the top of Machine Falls, so we're going to go check it out. So although there's not a great view here, Jacob tells me, they are building some sort of a platform here. I bet they're going to make a view here. Anyway, ah yes. Way down there. Very cool. All right, well, we're going to head down to the bottom. Somehow this trail has to descend all the way to the bottom of the canyon. I'm guessing it's going to be steep. <laughs> Stairs all the way down, I bet. Whew. Stairs. That's quite the descent. Man, this is gonna be hard on knees. Make my own switchbacks here. We're almost to the bottom. Woo. You know what the problem is though? What goes down must go up. <laughs> yeah, we've designed, descended to 90 and climbed 150. <laughs> Well, we thought there were some side trails here, but one way or another, you basically have to cross the creek. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Down. Yeah. Whew. Oh man. Wow. That's beautiful.
All right, everyone. That is the amazing Machine Falls. And it is a machine. <laughs> All right, we're going to go on now to Adams Falls. So, uh, off we go. Once we get down off these rocks without killing ourselves. All right, picking our way back across the creek here. It's a beautiful little canyon here. Just gorgeous. All right, we're crossing the bridge here. On to Adams Falls. All right, after a steep climb up out of the canyon, we have come to the Adams Falls loop sign. There's a uh, return to the parking sign over there, but we are heading for Adams Falls, so off we go. Well, if this is Adams Falls, there isn't much to it today. <laughs> Which means it must be dry most of the year. Because it did just it, rain. Right, we did just have rain. So there's a little bit of water coming down over there. But there's nothing here. But I can see if there were water running, this drop off here would be really nice. Well, there's a tiny little waterfall coming out of the side of the cliff over there. But uh, looks to me like Adams Falls, which is right here, is dry. So... Well, that's a little disappointing. The spider web right on the edge of the trail. Can you see the sun reflecting off it there? Yeah, there we go. There's a spider there. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. He's just sitting in the center. Right there. Yeah, if you get the light to reflect off it, you can actually see it. That's what we keep smacking into when we walk down these trails in the morning. Because <laughs> if the sun's not hitting it just right, it's pretty transparent. By design. Another really well lit web here. The lighting is making it difficult. Look at how it stretches her legs out. She's ready to grab something. Cool. You can see all the bugs around it. Uh huh. You know, we were talking one ring. We can imagine. We can see them just off the trail. They have to be like everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> Although we've not run into too many. At least I haven't. No, I haven't. So maybe somebody's been through here this morning. Yep. We just came off the Adams Falls Loop Trail and are now on the Machine Falls Loop. If we went back that way, we would go back to Machine Falls, but we're heading back to the uh, parking lot off this direction. It is a gorgeous morning this morning. Just so nice and cool. After a long, hot summer, it is wonderful and I appreciate it. Yes, yeah, some people were very kind to us and spaced out some nice rocks across here. That's very kind of them. I appreciate that. Very pretty little creek. All right. Those are some yellow ones there. <laughs> well, we're getting near the highway. I can hear cars going by. Do we like parallel the highway for a bit? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, but we're not too far. Getting near the end here. We've come to the sign. Trailhead loop, trailhead to the left. All right. Just about there. There's the trailhead straight ahead, the big water tower. 
So we are back to where we started. It's been a great hike. It's a beautiful waterfall, the Machine Falls. Adams Falls is a little disappointing. <laughs> and we uh, never really got to see Busby Falls because of the flood damage. But uh, it was a great hike all around. And uh, glad you went with us today.